Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got some Pundi X news, and uh, we'll see what my mining rigs did over the last 24 hours. Be back in a bit. Okay guys, real quick before we go on, uh, I got something going on called Bitcoin Friday. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon below so you'll be notified. Um, also right below this video will be the, uh, in the first comment, the enter to win video. So head over to that video when this video is done and enter your BTC wallet address so you'll be entered to win, all right? And we'll get into the news here right now. All right, so let's head over to uh, Crypto Vest and see what this latest Pundi X news is. Pundi X partners with Utrust Crypto Payment System. Um, Pundi X NPXX NPXS to symbol continues its upward trajectory today, announcing a new partnership with Swiss-based crypto settlement system Utrust to deliver a secure offline cryptocurrency payment service. Uh, PuniX is a blockchain project that has developed physical point-of-sale devices to allow consumers to purchase multiple cryptocurrencies with fiat instantly, as well as facilitating in-store purchases using cryptocurrencies with participating retail merchants. This week, PuniX was voted the winner of Binance's seventh community coin competition rewarded with a free listing on the world's largest crypto exchange against BTC, Ethereum, and BNB trading pairs. Utrust is a PayPal-like platform for cryptocurrencies, providing high, quality, high liquidity, security, and advanced buyer protection services for its users. This partnership represents a huge milestone for both parties as Pundi X's physical multi-asset POS devices becomes powered by Utrust's leading offline transaction settlement and buyer protection capabilities to make transacting with cryptocurrencies safe, fast, and convenient. Uh, Utrust has always been committed to enabling the use of fast, easy, and secure cryptocurrency payments. To partner with Pundi X and use its XPOS technology will help us immeasurably in achieving this goal. Nuno Correa, the CEO of Utrust. Uh, according to the official Utrust Medium post, the deal signed between the two companies included an agreement that Utrust will purchase 1,000 of PundiX's POS machines, and in return, PundiX will adopt Utrust payment protection and settlement services across all operational devices. Uh, at this stage, PundiX has secured over 25,000 orders for their in-store crypto payment machines, which means they're already 25% of the way towards reaching their three-year sales target of 100,000 devices. This company is moving. I've been watching it for a while. Um, if you've followed me and followed my, uh, you know, my mining updates and everything, I've always had BAB token, PundiX, and Siren Labs as tokens that I've been watching. So finally today, um, I found some good news here with Pundi X, and I actually uh, picked up some. CEO and co-founder of Pundi X, Zach Che, Che, Chia, Che, I guess that's how you say it, uh, believes this unity between the two companies is a significant movement toward the crypto market and achieving mass market adoption. This is a major step for furthering the mass adoption of cryptocurrencies, which despite having taken the world by storm, still remain outside the engine room of the global economy and consumer spending. PundiX is still currently developing prototype machines, but is expected to begin deploying manufactured POS devices to Switzerland, Singapore, and Japan over the next few weeks. They were also rumored to have begun already installing devices in Indonesia. In anticipation of the national crypto ban being reconsidered in the near future, uh, now with Utrust on board, these XPOS devices have the transaction capabilities to make purchasing with cryptocurrencies infinitely similar, simpler and reduces the barrier towards mass market adoption. Um, here's their sites. Um, 
Any store can buy, sell, and accept cryptocurrency, empowering blockchain developers and token holders to sell cryptocurrency and services at any physical store in the world, making cryptocurrency accessible to everyone. Um, that's huge, guys. Um, we'll go down and look at their roadmap real quick. See, these are what the devices look like. Right here, and then they've got a um, couple other different variations of it. But it's, it's pretty cool, man. It's, if that really takes off, this coin could really, really take off, and this company could take off. Uh, roadmap, we're in quarter two right now. Um, to establish Tokyo and Seoul offices to open 2,000 XPOS units for individual pre-orders. They did 600 in quarter one. To deliver 4,000 XPOS units for corporate orders. Uh, to deliver 300,000 XPass cards. To set up PundiX Foundation for transparency and compliance. And to establish partnerships in North America, which would be really cool. Uh, so this, like I said, I've been watching this for a while. Looks like a really cool project. They have a physical product um, that's actually being manufactured and about to be starting deployment. Uh, looks really cool. So, PundiX right now is at 0 .008. Two six eight. Let me hit refresh real quick. Zero zero eight one. So what I did is I took fifty dollars out of the Bitcoin I had mined previously, and I bought five thousand nine hundred and ninety four um, Pundi X tokens, sitting at about forty nine dollars right now. Um, of course, this is a financial advice. I'm not telling you all what to do. I'm just showing you what I did here. Um, so now I've got the Pundi X graphics sitting at about a penny. Um, I personally, I think this has got a huge upside. So the total supply on this coin token, I think is actually going to be in the process of being its own coin. Uh, total supply is 68 billion. So if we look and find similar uh, coins slash tokens with that kind of uh, supply, you can see Tron right here has got 65, and that's at almost five cents. So that's an easy, you know, once these things get deployed and starts, you know, being adopted, that could easily be a 5x, you know, return on that investment right there, which would turn my roughly $50 into $250 just by jumping to about five cents a coin. Um, some other ones. 8 billion, uh, let's see what else we got. The only other close one that I was looking on earlier was up at the top. Um, Ripple, 39, roughly 40 billion, and that's sitting at over 50 cents. Um, Stellar Lumens, 18 billion, 22 cents. Cardano, 25 billion, sitting at 15 cents. So this coin um, has got some very good upside with it. And it's been as high as a, a penny and a half. So I'm hoping that little um, investment pans out for me. Uh, so anyways, let's get into what uh, the rigs have done so far. 935 electronium mines so far this week. $30.57 worth of uh, Ethereum that was converted to Bitcoin this week, giving me a total of $42.03. Um... I should maybe hit $45, $46 this week, which that'll be all right because, like I said, um, yeah, I think it was the AMD rig was down like twice this week so far for a little while, probably a total of like eight or nine hours. So that'll take, with this rig, at least $3 off that total price, which would have given me $48, I think it did what, $48, $15 last week. So I'll do about $45 this week. Um, 2,807 total electronium so far. Uh, like I said, a new addition, 59.94 Pundi X, sitting at 49.50 dollars 50 uh, Total value mine is 431 dollars 90 uh, Pretty much stayed the same as opposed to what it was yesterday. 
um, which we are still up about $37, $38 roughly over last week. So all in all, it's good. Markets are holding steady so far this week. So it's another good sign. Um, it's better than going down, I guess. Uh, Ravencoin, 25.15. Birds, 37.75. Tron 1771, Cardano 110, and about $77 worth of Bitcoin so far. So that's today's uh, update and news on Pundi X. Um, again, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below, um, go to the video in the first comment, and enter your BTC wallet address if you haven't done so already. Um, I will be doing the drawing tomorrow for the Bitcoin Fridays. And if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, otherwise, have a good day, guys. Take care and bye.